You want to drink? Head this way. We got wine in this segment with Michael Chiarello, who is having an amazing autumn so far. His restaurant in California's Napa Valley, Bottega, continues to be one of the hottest tickets in town. And his new cookbook of the same name has been getting rave reviews. And uh, ever since it came out in September, Michael is back with us this morning to show us some great pasta dishes for the fall that celebrate what else? Wine. Wine. Of course. It is the wine country from yes. Napa after Welcome all. Welcome back. Thank you very much. So we're going to use, I assume, because you always come with your wines that you name after your daughters. You're right. I, I, I make Zinfandel. Let me turn myself up all the way here. There we go. The, um, I make Zinfandel and Cabernet, and one of the things in the wine country we're always trying to use is to because we have wine laying around. Exactly. You know what I mean? So, so I tried to make a pasta dish that could really sell. Now, in Barolo, in, in the Piedmont region of Italy, uh -huh. they make a risotto with Barolo that's really kind of purple. I said, what would that look like as a pasta? So what we've done we're is we're about to get the answer. Huh? We've taken a little spaghettini. We've cooked it about halfway. All right. If the package says eight minutes, you cook it four. Okay. I took a bottle of Zinfandel. A whole bottle? A whole bottle. Oh. Yeah. Now you don't have to use a you know like a thirty dollars Zinfandel like mine. You can okay. use a six dollars Zinfandel. It really isn't doesn't the quality of the wine once it's reduced, right? Right? Isn't isn't, isn't as important. Isn't that important? Right. All right. You can give me a little pinch of sugar. Sure. This is sugar. Exactly. Yeah. Enough. A little bit. That's perfect. Yeah. And you can put the and you can put the pasta right in. Okay. So the pasta is going to be cooking. Mmm. It's going to soak up all the flavors that's of that bottle. That's going to soak up all the flavor. So that's already, that's already been reduced. Okay. All right. And then we're going to take and we're going to saute some broccoli rob. Okay. A lot of people may not be familiar with broccoli rob, right? How exactly. do you, how, when you're buying broccoli rob, what do you look for? You know, you look, you look for it to be really bright. See the broccoli rob over here? It doesn't have any yellow tinges yeah. to it at all. It's totally beautiful, right? And so what I do, broccoli rob is a little bit bitter. So we give it a quick blanch. So the pasta water that I cook the pasta in, you used I to also, blanch the I also rub. blanched this, right? Got it. And so if you give me a little bit of olive oil right in that pan. Oh, there you go. And some sliced garlic. Give me that sliced garlic. All of it? Yep. Go big or go okay. home. Go big or go home. And All you right. can stir that up a little bit with those tongs. Now, I like my garlic to get light mm. brown. So that's going to get light brown. All right. This Zinfandel's cooking here with the pasta. Between the aroma of the wine and the aroma of the garlic, I'm about to have a heart attack. Is it unbelievable? It's so to good. It's totally good. So um, you can put in a little of the Calabrian chili. Because you're from Calabria. Yeah. All I mean, of this? Uh, you can maybe, maybe half. All right. We don't want to go that, that bold. Yeah, yeah. We <laughs> like our Mexican friends in Calabria. We <laughs> like it picante. <laughs> huh? We definitely do. Okay. So that those get light brown. You can put the broccoli rob right in. All righty. Right here. Very good. All right, beautiful. So we got all this going on. That gets going on. If you this give is me a turning little, nice and purple. That's turning nice and purple. A little bit of gray salt, that kind of... That's, gray salt? Oh, oh, oh. Gray salt. It's a salt from I Brittany. Never heard of I it. really, really prefer this salt. It's really, really quite nice. Mm. Isn't that good? Mm. That's, like, that's like an Italian hug. Yes. Can huh? we hurry up and eat? Absolutely. Here we go. <laughs> so we're going to plate this up. So That's the coolest, most interesting looking pasta I've ever great? seen. Let's see now, how it tastes. When we're entertaining in the holidays, people really want to see us. I put a little pecorino cheese over the top of that. My pleasure. Look at that. Uh, a little sheep's milk cheese. You give that a try. That's going to be delicious. That's a beautiful thing. Go. All right, so I will taste, and you show me the next pasta okay, dish. Okay, now, now when we are talking Thanks about wines, I use Sauvignon Blanc, right? I have some friends from Duck Horn over here. It's a favorite Sauvignon Blanc of mine. You slice some garlic. It gets light brown again. Some Calabrian salami. And mm. these little teeny... By the way, exactly. spectacular. Not too strong. No, Perfect. it's light. Because I feared actually with beautiful. the whole bottle it would be bold, no, no, but no, it's, it's nice, just right. right. And it's a vegetarian dish. Love it. Right? Okay. Really, really light and nice. We put in some, some little manila clams. Right, into the white wine and garlic. As soon as the clams open, I take them out. Mm -hmm. I cook my pasta. Then the wine and the clam juices cook down about mm. halfway. I put the pasta inside. I finish with a little, a beautiful finish, finishing olive oil, right? And again, the pasta's cooking in the wine a little so bit. So it soaks get, it up. Getting all of that. And that's it. No cheese with that. So before dinner, you put this out. What is this made of, this, this is, little dip? Well, well, my kids call it glop because we glop it on this, we glop it on that. And, uh, and it's a Parmesan dip. So it's Parmesan, par Parmigiano, garlic, olive oil, a little bit of chili and then this little crostini over here. That's beautiful. You make this for the holidays. So that could be your dip instead of like butter. Could, or, well, you want to try it. Dip away. A little crostino just like that you're going to die. And then we can bring it as a little hostess gift. I love this See idea. See that? Michael. So you fill up some pine. You can make like a gallon of this. It's is that unbelievable? You're uh, rocking my world my today. <laughs> yes. I love Not it. Not a real Italian hug. <laughs> Michael Chiarello. Grazie.